In his opulent 16,000 square foot mansion, real estate tycoon Cecil Chow enjoys the beautiful artwork, the serenity of an indoor waterfall, and an ocean view. But one of Hong Kong's richest men is unsettled by a simple desire, finding the right person for his only daughter. Gigi certainly is a, a nice girl, very loving uh, daughter and uh, deserve a good life and she should have as wide choice as possible. Sounds simple enough for 33-year-old Gigi Chow, who's executive director of her father's real estate empire. But various media outlets have reported that Gigi is already married to her longtime female companion. Her father says those reports are false and have ruined her chances of finding a man. So he's offering an incentive, $64 million to any man who can win over his daughter. Aren't you worried about the types of people who will apply? I mean, they're just after the money, don't you think? I'm not going to worry these things until Gigi have found somebody who loves her. If somebody loves her just for her money, I mean, she is old enough to find out herself and I will advise her. More than a thousand offers have come in. Gigi Chow says she finds her father's offer entertaining. I, I wasn't angry at all. I was moved by um, Daddy's announcement. I mean, it's really his way of saying, um, baby girl, I love you and um, you deserve more, basically. So. CNN asked her about media reports of her marriage to a longtime female partner. She said she's not in a position to verify this. Cecil Chow says he's open minded when it comes to issues of sexuality, but he has his concerns. If she is not gay, she should straighten out, uh, not let the people misled. But if she is gay, are you okay with that? That is for her to decide what she wants to be. Both father and daughter say the publicity has been overwhelming. On her Facebook page, Gigi Chow says for the sake of her family's sanity, she hopes her father retracts his offer. But money talks and interested suitors continue clogging up the office faxes and emails. Pauline Chu, CNN, Hong Kong.